I appreciate the background there and where you came from and what you're currently working on and so forth. You know, the topic we have today and what we talked about on the podcast was how do you close an investor? And just wanted to get uh, jump into that because I think we'll have a lot of questions from the audience there as well. What are, you, what are you seeing out there as best practices for doing that? You know, so I just recently moved to Miami and during Miami, there was a before Silicon Valley blew up. There were all these tech entrepreneurs who came all over from San Francisco or Austin and they just moved to Miami and the ecosystem was pretty vibrant until Silicon Valley Bank collapsed. And what, what it was is, and even before then, is that you saw that there was a lot of cheap, easy money that was floating around. And that gave us the crypto bubble, that gave us um, some technology bubble, if you will, a lot of, you know, maybe not stronger businesses with, you know, experienced operators might have gotten blown out because, you know, they couldn't navigate it. They didn't have a network to, to sort of deal or circumvent, circumvent that. However, um, what, what people, and I, it's interesting because I was coaching one guy over a cup of coffee his name's Andrew Satz, and he he had this wonderful presentation. And at the end, he sounded like something out of Shark Tank, right? And that's not real life. And it actually made me put together this guide here called Calling the Capital, which is very interesting. And one of the things that um, I told him to do was to change a few things in his script. But what people don't do is that when they're raising money, is that you have to understand that this is a relational business. Just because somebody's rich and you know they're rich doesn't necessarily mean they want to um, invest in your company. And and they they lack the bedside manners because they're actually going out and they're you know being a little too transactional. You know what I mean for transactional. And that's that's I think a result of like the Kramerification of America on CNBC, the um, you know the crypto, you know people getting into your DMs trying to sell you stuff. Like it became people just got that hustle, that Gary V vibe, if you will. But that doesn't really translate to people who are higher net worth who either inherit it and they're scared the death of screwing it up, which I wrote about in my third book, Investing Legacy, I brought show and tell, or um, first generation that knew how hard it was to get there in the first place and they don't want to lose it again, right? This could be a guy in his 60s. He's not looking to bet all in on crypto. And you have to really cater to, um, you know, the the... The, the word that they use is emotion, but we always talk about status, right? Look, if you invest in this company, you'll be able to tell your friends you invested in this. If you invest in this class A industrial, we have a video that says, here's what you've invested into. People like that. They bias towards quality. And if you can make it so that people are very, very proud to be investing into your company for some reason, it'll really, really work out. And, you know, I can put together many, I can talk about some of those um, strategies that we put together that people can use to raise money for it. But I think you have to think about it as, look, this is relational. I mean, I've been courting this one family that we'll be talking about, to, not a family, but this one this one gentleman that we were talking about for a million dollars for four months uh, before he came in. And he's a professional investor, right? And he, and, and, you know, he knows quality, but you have to make sure that, you, you know, people are investing not in the deal. They never really know about the deal. To them, it's just you know, they, 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 you know, they just, they're looking at you, they're judging you. And they're saying, does this person have the determination and grit to do what needs to be done after coming out of the, you know, every day when I wake up coming out of bed, that's really what, what people need to do. And you, when we talk to a lot of investors, one of the things we like to talk to them about is, Hey, look, if you, you know, if you get into this, well, you know, we put all sorts of bonuses and stacks, for example, for thrive bioscience, which I was telling you about, all of our um, investors are going to be getting Patagonia fleeces, right? That says Thrive Bioscience. They want that stuff because now they're going around to their ski resort next summer or whatever saying, hey, you know, this is, or wherever they live, maybe at most of them are in New England, you know, where that's like a staple. To them, that's like a status symbol, right? And they're like, huh, that's interesting. It sort of pushes it over the top a little bit sometimes for these people to do this. Funny story too, just to get off tangent a little bit, is um, everybody's aware of how um, pro- football works over overseas. And one of the families that invested into this company called AI Scout um, was the new owner of Chelsea Football Club who bought it from uh, Abramovich. And what, what I needed to do in order to close this very quickly, because we had a million dollar slug that we could invest into, was that I needed a way to compel these people to write the check faster, right? Or just get the due diligence faster. That's why I wanted them to get to the data room with the documents. I said the data room with the documents and I watched that through HubSpot. And I actually had an idea and I said, what if I got each investor an autographed jersey by the entire Burnley football club? 
And sure enough, we were able to do that. And that brought in, we were oversubscribed at that point. So it's the little things that you do to cater to your investors' needs and wants that really put them over the edge sometimes besides the numbers and everything. And of course, the deal has to pencil out as well.